we have with us Mr. A.K. Tyagi, Managing Director, Nubag Engineering Limited. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, sir, uh, uh, you formed this uh, Indian SBU in the month of March 2021, and it is almost now 14 to 15 months. So how has been the journey for uh, Indian SBU? Uh, see, basically, if you look at you know our business model for EPC, Traditionally, we have been uh, working in the international market for for quite some time. You know, basically, because we launched company almost 25 years back, and for last 20 years, 22 years, very actively, we have been involved with EPC business across the globe. We have created a name for our company outside India into so many uh, you know geographies. Basically, during this COVID period. Now, because of the international business and big portion of the business to the tune of almost 90% coming from outside, we had some hassles and we, we faced certain problems. So we, we re-looked at our business model and uh, also because of a lot of activities and a lot, lot of possibilities inside the country, having built up so many references outside, we decided to launch this uh, venture in India basically. Uh, Although it was launched because of, you know, compulsions and because of the COVID situations that we thought uh, about this uh, uh, launching. But yes, it was, it was, you know, a good decision, I will say. We have been doing very well into this. Would you talk about uh, the orders that you have backed and... Uh... See, basically when we started this, uh, we made a business unit separate. We call it an E&I, Energy and Infra. We just, you know, separated out this from a... Uh, our traditional business unit of doing chemical and fertilizer plants outside. The reason was basically to have a better accountability and to develop a parallel team uh, basically. So we hired a business unit head and then we started this. So we, as such, I will say we, it's quite satisfactory. We have booked three, four projects uh, during this period. Would you talk about those projects? See, basically the first project we booked uh, under this new business unit is basically is a very specialized uh, project uh, and it's a proud to us as well basically because we are involved with the first commercial hydrogen uh, bus filling systems in India basically because there is a lot of discussions in this uh, world today as far as the hydrogen is concerned so every third person is you know is, is aware about it and the people are discussing the future is uh, the future fuel as hydrogen basically so under this uh, situation when we got this order, it was a proud to us basically. We are building up a first uh, upgradation of hydrogen to a fuel cell grade because I would like to explain this uh, in a little bit uh, in a technical manner that the hydrogen which, is, which was available, which was produced from the different modes is not a hydrogen which is suitable for a fuel cell grade because fuel cell grade needs a very high degree of purity for the hydrogen, then only it will work. So basically this plant is to produce this hydrogen uh, to to uh, rectify, I will say to to upgrade this hydrogen quality to a fuel cell grade. Then we have the compression. It is a high pressure compression where uh, hardly any installations uh, in India. We are compressing hydrogen up to 550 bar pressure, which is a very high pressure. Then we have the tubes. We have the uh, you know basically the storages at the same pressure. And from the storages, we have the dispensing at the same pressure. So it's a full plant. And uh, this is uh, basically the plant is almost uh, mechanically complete and we will be soon uh, um, start uh, filling the buses from this setup. Sir, you have also backed uh, the ethanol. Uh... Yes, so basically uh, subsequent to this, uh, another uh, that is also equally prestigious uh, job because uh, uh, our uh, great organization, Indian Oil Corporation, they under their R&D, they developed a technology for uh, converting this uh, biomass, especially from uh, rice straw, uh, basically into uh, 2G ethanol, which is used for the blending inside the vehicles, basically. So this plant is in Panipat refinery, and this is also the first plant. The technology is given by IOCL R&D, and then Newberg is doing the EPC for this particular project. The project site work is already going on, and uh, we will achieve um, uh, mechanical completion of the project soon. And you have also backed one project, uh, fertilizer plant. Uh, yes, uh, from subsequent fat. to that, basically, we, we made a uh, tie up with a uh, uh, number one technology for NPK, Incro, uh, Spain, 
and uh, together with Inco Spain license, we have uh, we have uh, bagged the order from FACT uh, for NPK DAP uh, fertilizer plant. Uh, in fact, just to give you a little brief on this, basically this NPK DAP uh, is a normal fertilizer which is used in the country in a huge quantities. We were not uh, we were not self sufficient into these products. Lot of quantities imported from uh, different countries. So uh, based on our uh, you know honourable prime minister's reason of uh, uh, reducing the import and uh, making this as a as a made in India situation. So a lot of NPK DAP plant possibilities are there. The, this first plant which was coming up, uh, Newburg uh, is proud to you know back this order and we already uh, started uh, site activities for this project and uh, the completion was uh, 30 months uh, we, we and the contract was signed around four months back so uh, you did a very good uh, in fy 2021-22 what's your expectation from the yes basically Indian, uh, you know, uh, division uh, when, for when, this financial year okay so basically uh, you know uh, yes you are right you know when we launched we were we were not sure of uh, achieving such an early uh, um, success uh, into this trade basically because we have been shortlisted we have been l1 into one or two more refinery jobs also so as such uh, on the sales front i will say the the division has really done well and uh, now it's a challenge for uh, execution so we are working we are taking team and good uh, good team from the uh, market to uh, satisfactorily execute uh, uh, these big projects in future so uh, i will say it is it is it is a good year for us you know. And uh, uh, you are also planning on the on the manufacturing side, which is Indian peroxide. Uh, yes, basically because you know, uh, if you see at uh, Newburg, this is uh, my business model. Basically, that we really want to be an end-to-end -end organization. You in the EPC, there are so many companies internationally operating, but they they do a segment of it basically. If you see, you know, we are we are a licensor that we have a technology and know-how and an R&D in. Uh, Sweden uh, with, a, with a live patent today. Uh, this R&D of Sweden converted, uh, you know, their uh, research into three patents for producing hydrogen peroxide. Basically, this is a proud uh, situation. And uh, then we have, uh, you know, we have uh, technology, we have engineering, we have basically the manufacturing. When I say manufacturing, means you know, very few companies have heavy fabrication shop where they can produce the columns, reactors, heat exchangers, the things which are needed for. Uh, uh, EPC uh, for doing the EPC of such uh, projects. So we have a approved shop which is approved by U Stamp and which is approved by uh, EIL and all third parties internationally. And then we have uh, you know capability to construct. So the only thing which was lacking is the production. So basically now we uh, decided to have you know our production site to produce uh, uh, you know the like uh, the chemicals which we are um, propagating into as a EPC. So under this uh, situation, we started this company, Indian Peroxide Limited. Basically, it was uh, the product was launched almost, uh, I think, in 2018 October, and uh, subsequently around one and a half years back, we started expansion of that. Basically. And uh, you are uh, you are expanding it from 125 tons per day to uh, 300 tons per day. So. What, what is it that you are doing, sir, and what yeah, would be the capex? Yeah, basically, you see, uh, actually we, we took a good uh, land here, basically, since beginning. And we are having a plan to have, you know, integrate this with some more facilities, actually. So, initially, because this was our first manufacturing unit for the group, uh, uh, although we were in business for 25, 30 years, but this was the first manufacturing. So, we started, you know, a little bit uh, in a conservative way to go bank and all that. So, we uh, invested around 150 crores. 150 crores in first phase and thereafter uh, in this uh, second phase the investment is to the tune of almost 200 crores so we will touch uh, investment of 350 crores on this side and after completion of this uh, expansion we have a plan uh, we have already applied for uh, you know different uh, licenses and we have a plan to go for manufacturing of caustic chlorine also on the same site and uh, how will this uh, manufacturing plant will add to your revenue in FY202223? Uh, basically in the next year uh, we are expecting uh, to the tune of 300 to 350 crores from this sector. 